This is one question taken from uh, comparing quantities class A. It says, uh, what price should a shopkeeper mark? That means we have to get the mark price of an article that cost him rupees 600. We know the CP in this case. And where the gain is given or the profit is, profit percent is 20% after allowing a discount of 10%. Uh, this kind of questions becomes easy if you uh, write down the informations uh, symbolically and use the correct formula to find out. Like in this case, what we know here is uh, the cost price. So we can write C dot P is equal to rupees 600. This is what we got the CP. And then we also know the gain percent. So we can write P is equal to, this is 20%. Uh, so this is 20% is the profit percent given. Next, the information given is discount. So we have discount, so D is equal to, this is 10%. So we write this as 10%. And we have to find the mark price. So we'll be writing M dot P is what we have to get as equal to question mark. This is M dot P. Now, once we have uh, written uh, symbolically, as I said, uh, after writing this information symbolically, we should look for the suitable formula. As you can see, in order to get uh, MP, we need SP, right? So uh, as of now, we don't know the selling price, but we know the cost price. So using this relation, that means as we know CP, replacing CP with its value and profit percent, we can get the selling price. So we are going to use the first formula here first and then the second formula to get this mark price. So let's apply the first formula. It says SP is equal to 100 plus P percent, that's profit percent that divided by 100 multiplied by the buying price that is cp here so if you use this formula we get uh, replacing p with its value that is 20 percent so it's 100 plus 20 over 100 multiplied by the cp at the buying price which is 600 here so we got sp is equal to this is 120 over 100 multiplied by 600. These zeros get cancelled and this is 12 into 6 is 72 followed by 1 zero. So we got uh, the selling price as rupees 720. So once we get the selling price in this case, now next thing that we need to do is to find the mark price. And as I said, for finding this mark price, we'll be applying this formula or the relation here. Now, I'll just write down the formula first here. The formula here is SP is equal to 100 minus D percent over 100. That multiplied by mark price. So we are going to replace this SP with its value. And I can write this as 720 is equal to 100 minus discount percent as you can see discount percent is 10 so 100 minus 10 over 100 that multiplied by mark price now this is 720 100 minus 10 is 90 that is 90 over this is multiply yeah, 90 over 100 times mark price now if i transpose these values on the other side it is 100 multiplied and 90 divided is equal to mark price now we can reduce this. As you can see here that uh, this zeros get cancelled and seven, uh, 72 is divisible, right? So, so we'll divide uh, 72 that, you know, that it is eight times. So finally we got this mark price as eight into 100 is equal to rupees 800. So since we had to get uh, the mark price in this case, and we got the mark price here, the mark price we got is rupees 800. So all you have to remember that uh, in our questions like this, most important part is the formula. If you remember the relation or uh, between these uh, SP, CP, and MP, 
write the information symbolically and place these values and you'll get the final answer.